All right, everybody, welcome back to Binary Adventure Rust tutorial. So I'm going to make a quick video today. I'm going to talk about this iterator method called fold because a lot of people are probably familiar with map and filter because they're in other languages like JavaScript, but I wasn't familiar with this, this method called fold, and it was hard to understand at first. I think it's in other functional languages, but I've never really learned a purely functional language before, so it was just a strange concept to me. So I figured I'd explain it. So here we have a vector of integers here, two, four, six, and eight. So if you were to add all of these integers up together, you would get the number 20, because eight plus six plus two plus four is 20. Okay. Now, the purpose of this fold method is, is that it has something called an accumulator. And then it has basically each iteration is stored in another variable. So the accumulator variable is the first one, the, the one in, in uh, parameter number one of the closure here. And x in this case is basically the the element of the vector that we're currently on. So if we were starting at 2, the first iteration, x would be 2, and the accumulator would be whatever we place here in this first argument of fold. So in this case, we put 1 there, but we could put 0 there. So we're starting at 0. That would be more natural. So what, what what's going on here is we're taking the vector we're iterating through it. We're starting at zero, and then we're we're basically saying this accumulator is going to be a running total. That you know, as, as noted by the accumulator and the plus there, and then x is going to change every single iteration. It's going to start at two, then go to four, then six, then eight, and every time x changes from an iteration, it's going to be added to the running total or the accumulator. So starting at zero, if we run this, we're going to get result 20. Okay. Now, if we were to start this at one, we would get result 21 because we're starting at one and then we're adding 20 to it. Now, it, you could do other things here too. So you could say that the accumulator minus X and let's start it back at zero again and see what happens. See, now we get negative 20 because the accumulator starts at zero, then we subtract two, then we subtract four, then we subtract six, then we subtract eight, which is a negative. Or we could say something like accumulator plus x times two. Now we get 40 because what we're doing is we said 2 times 2 is 4, add that to 0, and then the next go around, 2 times 4 is 8, and then add that to 4, and the next go around, um, we do 6 times 2 is 12, and we added that to 8, and etc. And we end up with 40. So fold is, is very interesting. I'm sure you could do a lot of different things with this. But this is just a real uh, basic introduction to it. It is good for keeping a running total. Or basically, that's why they call it folding. Folding down all of these different... Uh, elements from an array or from a vector into one final number, which is what we did here. 